Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to uh, talk about Trump and the documents case and the requested delay from Team Trump, what it means and what it's really about. Because while it is about creating a delay, there's something else hiding underneath the surface. Okay, so if you don't know what happened, Team Trump has filed a... Uh, has filed basically asking the judge in the documents case to not set a date for trial, to delay it indefinitely, basically. Um, the goal is to push it past the 2024 election. Um, now, that kind of delay would be extreme, and the the real tone of this is, you know, your, your honor, I'm kind of too busy to be prosecuted. Um, there is a citation of a case, U.S. v. Hapful, uh, that is an unpublished opinion out of the 11th Circuit. I'm not a lawyer, but my understanding is that that basically means it's kind of irrelevant. Um, it, it is not something that could be used for precedent, by the way I understand it. So... The goal here is to create a situation in which Trump can use the presidency as a solution to his legal entanglements, delay it for an incredibly long amount of time, or if he wins the election, well, then he can just self-pardon is the way this is being viewed. And yeah, I mean, that's definitely probably the long-term strategy, but this particular filing is more than that. It's a test of the judge. The judge has made numerous rulings in favor of Trump at various points, rulings that were, let's just say, called into question later. This is, this is a moment where the judge could signal where she's at. If she was to grant an indefinite delay, um, that would be a pretty clear signal to Team Trump that she she's kind of on their team. She's she's willing to willing to lean a little bit more their direction in the current proceedings. Um, obviously, the Department of Justice is opposed to the idea of delaying it until whenever. As far as they're concerned, they're late, they're late, they're late for an important date. Um, one of the other things to keep in mind is that this is one case in one venue. There are multiple venues being pursued. They're not all going to have the same judge. This strategy of delay is not is not going to work everywhere. The other thing is that I'm not sure it makes sense. If, if Trump was confident and his team truly believed that these charges were the result of a witch hunt and that he would totally be exonerated, it seems like they would want to, they would want to get this to trial as soon as possible because they'd win. And once you win in one case, it, it creates additional doubt in the others, right? This strategy, to me, I would read this as his team doesn't think they can win. So they're trying to delay or get him into office so he can remedy the situation himself, either through a self-pardon or pressuring DOJ, using less than legitimate means to alter the outcome. Um, we will have to wait and see what the judge decides, but this is beyond the delay. I, I really see this more as Trump's legal team testing the judge. Is the judge going to be willing to do something that despite uh, the legal arguments setting those aside, is something that is so outside the norm that, 
when I looked, I couldn't find anything like this ever happening, um, that would put her under a whole bunch of scrutiny. Because if she was to side with them, believe me, the media would be all over this. You might even have a situation in which it goes to an appeal. It might be a situation in which the prosecution is just like, you know, the judge, the judge may have a bias. There's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of outcomes from this for the judge. And it may be Team Trump trying to test her and see where she's at on this stuff. Because they don't know. I know that the media and most of the public has a very clear picture of what they think that judge would do. We're going to have to wait and see. I don't know that this is going to go that way. It might, but this is pretty outside the norm, and it may be something that signals to the judge that it may induce the opposite reaction. Because it, it may signal to the judge that Team Trump is going to try to uh, exploit her leniency and put her in a position she doesn't want to be in. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.